Another year, another line to review. Another three lines. Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, my ragman gal! Sonny, you kissed my wife! Baby, my heart's on fire! For the longest time, Hasbro wouldn't allow any Transformers media series and toy lines to overlap with any different upcoming TV series or movies and their toy lines. Which is why they cancelled a perfectly good TV series and toy line, even though they were popular and profitable, in order to clear the decks for a movie and its toy line that completely and totally stunk. But Hasbro seems to have gotten over that, for now. Because they have at least four series and toy lines in stores right now. There's the Studio series, Cyberverse series and toys, the Bumblebee movie and toys, Rescue Bots, Bot Bots, the remnants of Power of the Primes, and now its successor, Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy, Siege. Ugh, what a mouthful. Anywho, the Siege line is the latest. Titans Return brought back the Headmasters. Power of the Primes brought back the Combiners. But Siege seems to be focusing on the old Target Master gimmick, with mini Transformers that turn into weapons which can be used by the larger figures. In this review, we will look at two packs. Top Shot and Flak for the Autobots, and Stormcloud and Visper for the Decepticons. Both figures are Micro Masters, which is also a throwback to Generation 1. In the late 1980s, there was a line of collectible toy vehicles called Micro Machines. These were like Hot Wheels, only super miniaturized. They were very popular at the time, which meant of course that other people wanted to jump on the bandwagon. Even Transformers got in on the act with the Micro Master line, which now returns in Siege. The new boxes are a lot like the old boxes, except they have a big honkin' word Siege on the front. The figures are shown off inside, and character art on the front panel as well. There's no art on the side panels, and on the back they seem to have dispensed with the bios completely. Now showing only the figures in robot and vehicular modes, as well as the Target Master Weapon Modes. The only parts that seem to have expanded are the warnings and the legal ease. Now that that boring history lesson is over, let us unbox these Micro Masters and review them properly. Out of box, these Micro Masters come only with their instruction booklets. And it seems to be on these that Hasbro has now written what constitutes a bio, or rather, the tech specs for the weapons into which they transform. Gone is the collectible trading card. Instead, the tech specs are now printed in the instruction manual. And the measurements appear to be in increments of 20 instead of 10 like they normally are. First off, Top Shot and Flak. Their alt modes are a cute little pair of missile launchers which don't actually launch anything. But the colors and paint seem neatly applied, with little Autobot symbols on top. Each one will roll on a pair of tiny wheels. And for Top Shot, you can raise and lower the cannon, and even rotate it 360 degrees. Not too shabby, given the size. They're small enough that they look scaled decently when used with playset titans like Metroplex. With Flak, you can raise and lower the missile launchers, but the turret won't rotate. To transform Flak, simply take the missile launchers and rotate them down, and fold them out to become the robot legs. Flip them upside down and you can see that there's not much else to the transformation. Take the top of the missile launcher treads, rotate it backwards. You will see a tiny ridge inside where you can stick your fingernail to push out the robot head. Then just rotate the arms outwards from the sides. Top shot is a little less simple. First rotate the top of the turret out of the way to give clearance to get out these tiny gray slats. Rotate out the robot feet the same way that you normally would with most Autobot figures. Take the gray slats and push them backwards to become the heel spurs. Finish rotating the turret so that the gun is pointing backwards and down. The front wheel assembly slash arms are on ball socketed hinges which can be tilted downwards, 
and square it out to become the arms and shoulders. Separate the legs and transformations are complete. The robot modes are a definite step up from the Generation 1 MicroMasters where the legs were all fused together. These all have separated legs. For articulation, the arms will rotate on their ball sockets and tilt in and outward slightly. Top Shot even has full waist rotation. The hips are ball socketed and will rotate and splay. And the figures have bendable knees. Flack has a head that will tilt forwards and backwards. The arms are ball socketed and will also rotate and splay. He has no waist rotation, but does have ball socketed hips and bendable knees, just like his top shot counterpart. So for the size, you can get a decent amount of articulation and posability out of these tiny figures. They have more articulation than the Titan Master figures, or the Prime Master figures, or even their pretender shells. Not bad for the price, and at least, they're not immobile bricks. But the Battle Masters don't just leave you hanging with the robot modes. These two tiny robots can combine into a larger weapon that can be wielded by the Deluxe, or the Voyager, or even the Leader class figures. Transforming Flak is simply a matter of squeezing the legs together, folding the arms to his side, tilting the head back into the cavity, and then rotating out this small gray peg. Transforming Top Shot into his weapon mode is a little more complicated. Rotate the waist 180 degrees, squeeze the legs together, Leave these little gray parts folded outwards, but rotate the leg halves, as if transforming him back into a missile launcher. Fold the gun barrel downwards and up. These gray parts should tab into these notches into the blue codpiece. On the missile launcher turret, make sure that this hole is pointing outwards. Then take both vehicles and plug the peg into the hole. These notches on Top Shot's arm should peg into these grooves on Flack's shoulders. And this is Top Shot and Flack combined into their Battle Master Weapon Mode. The instructions have christened this as the Electroverge Neuroblaster. The ENV has 14 biceps, 12 targeting scopes, and 16 mouse pointer icons. Good for him. Getting them both to tab together can be a bit tricky, and the combined weapon mode doesn't feel particularly sturdy. The two halves don't seem to be fully aligned, but at least they don't fall apart easily. The weapon can be held by any figure that uses a standard 5mm peg hand. Even the combiners and the titans can use them. So you can deck out any figure with more firepower, or just keep them as nifty little minifigures. Unlike the Autobots, the Decepticon Micromasters are jet flyers. They are black and blue with some reddish and silver highlights, and even tiny Decepticon badges. The alt modes make convincing planes, at least when viewed from above. Flip them over and you will see they suffer from the Flipformer Syndrome. The robot parts are easily discernible. They don't have any rotating turrets or aimable guns. They're simply decent looking jets. Transforming to robot modes is again simple but effective. Take Storm Cloud and fold the nose cone backwards. Once you have done that, you will see that these are the robot legs. Angle and rotate them. When transforming to a jet, the legs will tab into these tiny holes. Untab the robot arms from the jet wings. Fold and angle them forwards. Fold the wings inward until they are lying flush against the sides. And Storm Cloud is now a proud robot. As for Visper, simply untab the canopy of the jet from the legs. Also fold an accordion in the cockpit section until it is lying against what was the jet wings of the back. Take this tiny peg and rotate it forwards to reveal the robot head. Flip the robot feet outwards. Untab the robot arms from the side of the plane, flip the wings inwards, and Visper is ready to join his buddy. Visper's transformation is a bit more intricate, but you get less articulation from it. 
Stormcloud's transformation is simpler, but he has more articulation. Still, they both look a good as robots with decent paint and colors. For the size, they're not bad. Visper's articulation is limited to the ball-socketed shoulders, ball-socketed hips, bendable knees, and tiltable toes. With Stormcloud, you get not only the ball-socketed shoulders, but bendable elbows as well. Neither one has any waist rotation, but they do have ball-socketed hips and bendable knees, which admittedly is pretty good for such a small figure. Joining these two figures together in their Battlemaster weapon mode is easier when they are jets. Simply take Stormcloud and fold the canopy backwards, as if transforming into a robot. You will see this hole at the base of the plane. Take Visper, and you will see this peg. Plug the two together until they fit snugly. And this is the combined Battlemaster mode. The instructions say that this is the Circuit Stream Spy Blade. It has 15 biceps, 10 target scopes, and 18 10 ton weights. It makes a decent sword accessory for two planes that are stuck together. Even the instructions indicate that this is only a two step process, but it holds well in the hands of any figure and at least does a good job of looking like a weapon, as Titan's Return Shuffler did. For size comparison, here are the War for Cybertron Siege Micromasters, next to Power of the Prime's Prime Master Bludgeon. Here are the Siege Micromasters, next to Deluxe Power of the Prime's Blot. And here are the War for Cybertron Siege Micromasters, next to some of the original Generation 1 Micromasters. The names escape me. The Micromaster figures have taken lessons from the Titan Master and Prime Master figures to increase the fun factor just a smidgen. Positives are that they have decent alt and robot modes, and the combined weapon modes are more convincing than the Prime Master Pretender weapons. They are compatible with other Battle Master accessories, and with the larger figures as well. Negatives are they still lack some articulation that they could have engineered in with a bit more effort, and the kibble from their other modes is still visible when combined. But they still did an excellent job under the size constraints, and these Micro Master figures earn 7 out of 10 deaths. Now, how about that Titan Scorponok? If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, then you'll be left alone, old baby. Tell them all, and tell me I'm your own.